Hi, my name is Alexis Norman. So I'm in charge of uh, our B2B healthcare partnerships and business at Nokia Digital Health, uh, previously Withings, a leader in the connected uh, health devices. Connectivity is already revolutionizing healthcare because um, devices that used to be restricted to medical professionals are basically now being sold uh, at your local retail electronic store. So you know it's uh, it's not just a consumerization of healthcare. Really, what the the smartphone revolution has brought about is a. Uh, a medicalization of um, consumer devices. So when you start having these devices in your hands when you previously had them in a doctor's cabinet, well, you're really taking ownership for your health. You're really accessing the analytics, the service upfront. So, I mean, this is already a big disruption. Well, I think we went from uh, uh, through. I, I think we went through those three typical stages of innovation, which is one ridicule, the second is discussion, and the third is adoption. So, you know, when we started saying that our, our, our connected scales, you know, that basically allow you to upload your weight onto an app and maybe tweet about it could also be applicable to healthcare, obviously people laughed at us uh, at the beginning. And then we started getting these hospitals to, that started ordering from us to, to use those very same devices to follow people with congestive heart failure because you know, your weight fluctuates a lot when your heart doesn't work well. Uh, and to use that data to create alerts, to uh, intervene early, to stop people from getting hospitalized. So, so we've seen the adoption. So we went from you know, uh, having a good pitch to having some great case studies. And uh, I think, you know, this is, uh, and then of course we were bought by Nokia, so now we're scaling this. Well, I think what nobody realized before we had like data about ourselves on a day-to-day -day basis is that there is a huge void between two doctoral consultations. And everybody thought that this was normal, although, you know, our diseases are more and more chronic and more increasingly, you know, uh, we need to be treated not every now and then, but continuously because we keep our, our we take our drugs, you know, every day. We, we need to, to behave in a certain way every day to stay healthy. So um, to, to, to the point is, um, you know, we are now in a world where care is uh, given out continuously. And this is a big change. Well, I think it's not just true about healthcare, it's about every industry that uses IoT is now um, you're in a continuous relationship with your uh, customers, with your patients. Uh, you used to maybe sell a device and then never hear again about the user. Uh, and now suddenly um, what you've sold provides data at an aggregated level on you know, how the uh, device is being used, how the service is being used. So we, we went from um, selling devices to selling services and these services evolve. You can basically update the firmware of a device. So you're not designing your product once and then leave it out and just throw it out there. You're continuously improving the design through basically the participation of your customers or patients. Well, I think the technology um, is there. Uh, people can be connected. People can uh, push patient-generated health data into electronic health records. Doctors can analyze it. So, you know, that's there, but it's a bit like the, the invention of electricity when we were using gas. We still don't have the institutions or, or the, the reimbursement models to, to allow this to scale fully. So I think, you know, there's, there's a, a growing awareness that we need to uh, finance this through, you know, outcome-based uh, models, whereas today we pay for a service, a uh, one-off service. So, you know, I think it's, the technology is going to improve, but fundamentally uh, the paradigm shift has already started. Uh, what's going to happen now is the, uh, the healthcare models are going to adjust to the technology. Everybody's talking about IoT. Um, so, you know, uh, what is the one thought that people talking about IoT are not uh, talking about? I, you know, I, I think we, uh, we think today that most of this information uh, is going to a platform or an app and that you're going to have feedback. I, I believe uh, a lot of this will become more invisible. 
So, you know, there is uh, more and more invisible technologies, uh, but it's not because they, but the more invisible they become, the more pervasive. So, um, sorry, I, I don't have a, a perfect answer for this one. I, I would just like to say that, you know, we, we think a lot of uh, B2B applications of, um, of IoT. We think about platforms, we, th we think about industrial use cases, we think about uh, the data that is feeding into AI and allowing for analytics, and we think of it as something applicable to, to, the, to B2B, but whereas in fact the real disruption is all of this technology is going directly to the consumer. Uh, and, and I think that's an important point.